Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and we're starting a new program called, let me get it <laughs> right, Buns, Guns <laughs> and Vacuums. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna um, need for this program, it's a brand new program, I'm gonna keep it short, the class is short so you can use them in summertime and this summer and every summer after. Um, I have a sale for 4th of July, so join me on the membership for the entire program. Uh, the coupon code is LOVE with capital letters, so just four letters, I'll, I'll write it below, and it's um, $8.99 a month, and for the first month and every month after that, for as long as you keep the membership going and 90 a year and 90 every other year after that you can cancel anytime i don't have any uh, sign up form i don't have any contract etc it's just flow with me when you are uh, when you can and get fit and uh, strong and fluid and light and a part of the community and um, for most of the classes you're going to need a, a set of dumbbells because we're gonna work on upper body. We're gonna work on our upper body <laughs> strength, back, chest, everything. We're gonna cover everything in the, in the different classes. And I'm gonna try to keep this, the vacuum uh, theme strong. We're not gonna lose the gains we got from the booty program. We just finished the booty program. It is available on the website if you wanna go back and do it. I have five booty programs on the website. They're different, some are for bulk, some are for just uh, uh, cardio booty, uh, some are for just building a lot of, you know, just building bulk, that was the third one. Uh, so there is quite a bit of options there for whatever you need, whatever you want, to, whatever you feel like. The latest one was cardio booty, so it was pretty light, it's just kind of more of a um, get it done quickly, tightening, getting, getting a little tone going on. So. Th that's for that. Let's let's begin and let's flow with love, strength, and ease. All right, starting with a little bit of a warm up. So you're going to go into side lunge or mini side lunge. You don't have to go deep in the beginning because this is a warm up and you're gonna reach over, cross over reach, cross over reach, involve your core here please. You're warming up your back muscles, so use your arms, fire up the back muscles, fire up the legs. Take broad strokes. You can deepen a little. Here in Texas in summer, I feel that I'm always warmed up. <laughs> 100 degree weather every day through the evening. <laughs> through the night, it doesn't drop off that much. <sighs> All right, so now kind of like swimming or rolling back and just move, move the core, warm up the core, the hips. Let's involve the head now. So you're going to use the full range of motion and reach back with the hands. This is not very exact, precise movement. I want you to feel your body and feel comfortable in, within your body, in the body, within the movements you choose. So ta tap in and feel it. Have a little bit of your own design in the moves. Creativity. Squat and hold it. So you're gonna push the hips back, push the knees out and just hold it. Now I want you to lean forward, straighten the back and now straighten back out, up. Open out, hold, hold, hold until you feel a good burn. Now bring your heels off the floor, tippy toes.
drop the heels, straighten the back, push back. Woo. Okay, I feel that. All right, vacuum, hands on the knees. That is one of the easier forms of vacuums, but we'll do different ones to different classes. And you're going to empty the lungs, exhale and hollow the belly, pull in, uh, engage the pelvic floor, mula bandha, so that there is a lift. You're not pushing down on the pelvic floor, there is a lift. One more. One more. So those are the three, the three bandas. And you are going to grab your weights, bring them at the front of the mat, and now if your weights are different design and you can't use them to, um, to bring your, uh, to hold them uh, in plank, then you, you just get, take regular plank and have the weights near you if there are uh, some form of a different design. Modify and hold plank here. All right, from plank, we're going to do triceps pulls. One, two, try to hold the core really strong. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And grab one weight only. And we're going to take staggered squat. So hips back, your right knee, your right leg is forward, right knee over the ankle. And we're going to lean forward, open chest, and go for, just build up on that same thing, triceps extensions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Followed by deadlifts. You can leave your weights down. If uh, you haven't done deadlifts in a while, the deadlifting is a hinging move, so it doesn't it doesn't come from the knees. It is not a squat per se. You can move your knees in certain variations of a deadlift, but you have to remember that it's a hinging move. It strengthens the the glutes, the hamstring, the back, and it's overall a strengthening move. So you're going to trace the weight just in front of your shin bone, push your hips as far back as you can and keep the natural alignment of the spine. One, hinging at the hips. Two, you can just test this out without weights. This is pretty light, uh, what I'm holding, eight, eight pounds. Five, I think, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Change sides. Left leg forward, push the hips back. Distribute the weight between the front and balance on the back leg. And let's go one, try to, try to stabilize the elbow here and lower down with control. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That will build into the guns. 
the posing muscle of the biceps. All right, let's go. Hinging at the hips, really flex. Flex, so you're hinging like a, like a robot and uh, you're really feeling uh, the glutes and this will strengthen your erector spinae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I tend to love anything that strengthens the, the back of the spine. From here, you're going to leave one weight between your legs. Now, it can be very light weight and you can practice this without weights for the first move, just to feel the move. And we're gonna grab, grab the weight from the floor and lift it to the shoulder. So it's one move and you're pushing your hips back. Again, again moving from the hips, push the hips back, straight back, grab and lift, grab and lift, grab and lift, grab and lift. Now we're gonna slow it down, lift and press up. See how that feels as one fluid move snatches, full body, focus on that straight back, and you are almost zipping it up, like a zipper. One more. And now we're gonna do the half move on the left side, practice it, just lift. So again, coming off of the deadlifts, keep your back straight, no rounding, especially if you're holding your weight, I'm using really light weight. I almost don't feel it, but that's how we, we integrate the movement so it becomes integrated into the body and we're really good at the alignment, I really wanna, emphasize alignment with all of this. All right, let's go. Maybe I'll ask you later in the program to, <laughs> to get heavier dumbbells, or maybe I'll buy some. All right, let's do the whole move. Zip it, lift it as one, as one move. Do you like my sound effects? I could do Instagram sound effects. All right, I think we had enough. Enough of this full body move. And now, with a safe, proper form, grab your weight. I like deep squat. If you're not gonna do deep squat, then you're gonna do a form of a squat deadlift in between. And lately I've been loving deep squats for everything just because it's such a functional move. All right, lunge, right leg forward, left leg back. And we're going to lower down and open out. Lower down, shoulder flies. Lower down, shoulder flies. Now, feel your, feel your glutes, feel your legs. Keep your right knee over the ankle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leave the weights down and give me figure eights with your hips, change the leading hip. Once your breath is back to normal, we're gonna do two. 
stomach vacuums. So this is essentially full body program, hourglass program, whatever you want to call it. One more. And safely grab your weights and take lunge on the left side, left leg leading. Find your alignment for the lunge, left knee over the ankle. And we're gonna do two moves. Lunge, fly, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trace servers for the guns. Now, keep in mind in every class, I'm gonna give you different exercises that complement the different classes. We're not gonna do full body in each and every class. They're gonna work in conjunction with each other in combination different days different the different classes will cover different areas so straight service you're gonna do biceps curl surf forward two three four five six seven eight nine and ten A little bit of cardio and you're going to take wide squat and you're going to touch the left hand to the right foot again hips back same same thing that we've been doing through this whole class everything is a combination of deadlift and squat and the variations between these two moves in both moves the back is in neutral alignment and the chest is open and you're gonna jump one, one side only, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I wasn't sure about our kitty cat, but he is sleeping here and not bothered by me jumping. All right, now, safely grab your weights and Step onto the right foot, load your weights onto your shoulders. We're going to take a step back with the left leg. Kick, hold the kick, press, shoulder press. Now, when you do a shoulder press, you're gonna feel the need, I hope, to connect your core. If you don't, connect it. So you wanna stabilize here, body working, shoulders, core. And again, those are Functional moves. Three. Four, focus. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Give it a rest. Shamanic shaking. You can make sure that you're Hands are shaking and your face is like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't need an app for sound effects. <laughs> and opposite side. Load the weight. That shaking is very important. 
because we remove trauma from the tissue, fascia, stored trauma in the physical. All right, right leg stepping back. And booty, shoulder, core, reverse. Or repeat, two, three, four, Six, seven, and eight. Great. One stomach vacuum. Return the breath to normal. That's also your test. How quickly can you come back to a place of equanimity and peace, calm? That also. Obviously, it's a reflection of your cardiovascular endurance, uh, how well you connect to your breath. But also, it's a mind thing. Everything is a mind thing. And let's sit down and lay on your side and then roll onto your back. Drop your lower back down onto your mat and take your right leg up, 90 degree angle or so. And activate the core, you can touch. And you're gonna extend the leg and lower down and hold without removing the lower back off the floor. So this is holding here, a holding pattern, a holding stabilizing muscles, returning back to 90 degree bend, knee, and open about 45 degrees down, so halfway down, and extend. And drop the other hip down, so both hips are down, and flex. And return. Take the Left leg up and hold here, one-legged bridge. Hold, hold, hold. Let's make it for another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I barely made it. That's good. You can, you can. Give a, your muscle a, a roll, a knitting. Drop the lower back down. This is a little bit referencing to the somatic program I did. It was absolutely great. Uh, if I can recommend my own work, of course. But if I didn't feel passionate about it, I would be sad. Of course, I try to keep to keep in my life the things I'm passionate about. So the somatic was not an intense program, but intense in a deeper way. So you get a reference here. So take a 90 degree, lower back on the ground, hold here. So there is a little bit of a pelvic tilt and you're engaging the lower belly, you're engaging the pelvic floor and you will extend and lower down, but without removing the lower back from the floor. Hold. Lift. If a little bit, if, if you feel a little bit of shaking, that's good. All right, bend it again, the knee. Open 45 out. Drop the right hip down, keep it down. Open here. You can open the toes and push through the heel. Return. And let's go into bridge. Right side only. Whew. 
from here, step your feet a little wider than hip width apart, about the width of a regular mat. Drop your knees to the right. Just let them drop. And that's a test pose of how much you have allowed, learned surrender in your body. It always translates to uh, the domain of the mind, the spiritual stuff as well, emotional. But we work through the body, up through the layers. And here you just let go and find softness. Again, that was a little bit more in the somatic program, but you find softness through the hips and pelvis where a lot of tension gets stored for physical, physiological reasons, but also emotional um, uh, reasons. So you're softening, you're releasing tension through this area so that when you walk out of the class, you're stronger, but also softer, more fluid, or more flexible, or more, um, in some way, more um, supple. Opposite side. And even though we're not doing a flexibility class today, I'll have those uh, through the program. Uh, but suppleness is something that we'll learn uh, through in the process of movement, not only in the process of purely stretching. So change sides and feel the same thing, uh, like a wave of release moving through you and especially around the hips and pelvis and core. In order to build a strong pelvic floor, um, even the reproductive system, the urinary, etc., cetera, the, the digestive system, eliminatory organs, organs of elimination, we have to learn to release tension from them and that allows uh, the foundation for strength. So when we have tension in an area, we can really have it be strong. They may be confused for the same thing, tension and strength, but they're almost, uh, they're not opposite, but they're almost mutually exclusive. Almost, exceptions always. <laughs> There is always the irony of life is always there to get us if we're too dogmatic. All right, and from here you're going to um, lay down and you're going to open the left leg um, out to the left, cross the right leg over, keep your both hips down, both shoulders down, and reach to the left as well with your arms. Kind of like a rainbow. Stretching the sides, change. Again, hips down, shoulders down, stretching uh, the side of the body. Elongating. Bring your elbows out, 90 degree bent elbows, hands uh, facing each other. Turn the hands away from you. Lower down towards the floor, as far down as you can. You may not reach the floor. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, it depends. Come up, back to straight up towards the ceiling hands and again lower down. One more, lower down, release, happy baby. To a hip stretch here, right knee over the left, flex your feet, draw your feet in towards you. Soften, flex the feet, smile. <sighs> smile mostly at your body and at yourself. And just rem remind yourself to witness yourself, to listen to yourself, to acknowledge yourself, to honor yourself, because from there it spreads out. When we truly deeply honor ourselves, we extend that to others. It's not a 
self-serving, egotistical thing, it's the opposite. Because once we recognize the divinity within one being, if that being is our own self, then we, we have an epiphany. All right, release and lay down. And just have an inner smile, turn it towards yourself and be in the presence of yourself. Honoring yourself and holding yourself in, um, in a cloud or aura of love. Just hold yourself with a spiritual hug of love. Holding space for yourself and also um, creating a, a circle of protection and love for yourself. And remember to flow with love, strength and ease. Namaste.